Interesting Mark celebrates its homegrown Tour de France champion, Jonas Vinchkaard. Jonas Vinchkaard was crowned Tour de France champion on Sunday after a grueling 3,350 kilometers, 21 day race, ending a journey which had its roots in the mundane surroundings of a fish processing factory in his native Denmark. He follows compatriot Bjorn Rees who won the world's most famous bike race in 1996, the year Vinchkaard was born. His impact on the Danish people was clear to see today when he received a massive homecoming in Copenhagen three days after his victory into Paris. The Jumbo Visma Tour winner was greeted in the streets by huge crowds and when he took to the balcony of the capital's town hall to address those who had gathered, the TV images showed a sea of people had turned up to celebrate his triumph. Every day was quick, fast, it's been rough, there has been a lot of attacking. It must have looked good on television, said the champion. It is a stunning success for Vinchkaard, three weeks after the race pedaled off from Copenhagen for the first of three stages on home ground. Over 35,000 paying fans had packed into Copenhagen's Tivoli Gardens to greet the Tour de France riders. When he came out onto the stage at the pre-race rider presentation a roar went up which seemed to overwhelm the 25-year-old co-captain of the team, a quiet, unassuming rider. Fighting back tears, Vinchkaard looked far from a future champion of one of sport's most difficult endurance tests. On the opening daytime trial, a wall of sound reverberated around Copenhagen, as their home hopes progress was tracked along the downtown route. While much of the rest of the world was unaware of Vinchkaard, the man from Northern Jutland was already a household name at home. That was not only because of his cycling skills, but his mother-in-law who shot to national fame after competing on the Great Danish Bake Off show in Denmark's Dancing with the Stars. Vinchkaard was born in December 1996 and raised in Hillerslev, a fishing village of just 370 inhabitants, in a completely flat landscape on the shores of the North Sea. Denmark's previous tour winner Rhys was born in Herning, around 100 kilometers from Hillerslev. As a child, Vinchkaard played handball and football before turning to cycling after watching the tour of Denmark pass close to his home. With his slender frame and the windy flatlands of Denmark, his staggering climbing skills were yet to be revealed. He joined Colo Quick, a continental tour team, at 19 and worked in a fish processing business in the mornings before training. I had to get up early, but it gave me something to do, and I wasn't sure if I would become a professional cyclist, Vinchkaard said. It was at Colo Quick that he met his partner Trine Hansen, a marketing manager who is nine years his senior, with the couple having a young daughter Frida. He told me he was going to be a banker, and I thought I'd be a banker's wife, Hansen said this week. Vinchkaard joined Team Jumbo Visma in 2019, where he says he learned to cycle. He came to prominence at last year's Tour de France, where riding under the radar he suddenly found himself team leader when Primoz Roglic crashed out, finishing second. Shy and retiring, he refuses nearly all television engagements, relying on trying to front the family image while he gets on with the cycling. He relentlessly thanks her when interviewed, speaking of his two girls at home being the rocks of his life. After meeting French President Emmanuel Macron following stage 18, Vinchkaard was stunned. He knew my name, said Vinchkaard who admits he has had problems in the past with self-confidence. On this tour, he bettered two-time defending champion Tadej Pogacar on both the toughest mountain stages to clinch the champion's yellow jersey that will make him a hero in his homeland. I don't know how this will affect our lives, but I grew up somehow, said Vinchkaard, but I feel better than ever. Two Danish Air Force F-16s escorted the private plane that brought Vinchkaard and his family back to Denmark, just over three weeks after the with three stages in Denmark, during which the crowds packed the roadsides. It's fantastic and mega moving. I still haven't realized that I won the Tour de France, Vinchkaard said. It's something I couldn't have imagined, it's unbelievable. Check out the video, share, like, and subscribe.